Hey, it's Courier Girl, and today we're going to Newport News, Virginia for another job search. So we already did a couple ones close by. We did Norfolk and we did Virginia Beach, and Newport News is right across, I guess, the bay. And it's a different area, and so it has different courier companies, although a lot of them are related. All right, so let's look at their population first. It says 180,000 or so in 2020, and the metro area is 1.67 million. So it's a pretty good sized area. You know, the East Coast has just got so many people for in small amounts of space. It's really, really crowded. Um, so yeah, you get a high compression of population. You get a lot of courier business usually. Okay, let's look at courier businesses. And we're going to start with the map. You can see they're really concentrated right around this area. Not too much going on out here because those are more outlying areas, but I'm sure they deliver there as well. Okay, M&M Delivery Service. I wonder if they deliver candy. Yeah. I'm feeling a little goofy today. So here's their phone number right here. Express same day appointment. Same phone number here and here. This one, I think you can click it and call them. The delivery, small moves, haulaways. So haulaways would be taking like trash out or stuff you don't want anymore. Let's see. Here is a phone number. Additional fees, shrink wrap, mileage, and home delivery. So these are some additional things. This picture's kind of cut off a little bit. Here's a message from a customer. Testimonials about us. Read all of that. Their gallery is just this picture, like their header picture. Contact us. Here's their address. And again, their phone number. So there does, it doesn't say anything about, yeah, these are all just going to go to different spots of the same page. It doesn't say anything about drivers or anything like that. However, if you give them a call, you can talk to them and see what they have available. They may have something for you. So let's go on to the next one. Delivery in motion. No website. That's our, okay but they do have a phone number and an address. So you can give them a call and find out more about them. This looks like pictures of carts. They have some pretty good reviews. This is from a year ago. This is from three years ago. So when you're looking at reviews, you want them to be a year or less. You have something that's like a bad review, but that's four years ago. I don't give that as much credit because a lot happens in a few years. And here they do a paragraph about this. Family owned, veteran operated on demand. They're based out of Hampton Roads, Virginia Beach and includes the Southside Peninsula and Richmond. So here are the different things they do. So instead of a website, this is a little paragraph about them. So read that as well. And they do have a Facebook. You can um, go to their Facebook and check them out. Okay. UPS. We're going to skip. Clark Courier Service. Okay. Call now, get directions. This is one of those template websites that we've seen many, many times before. Um, this is like a blog post. It just tells you kind of about them. Call today. I'm trying to see where their phone number is. You could call now. And if you look down in the very left, see if I click this, it's going to want to call it from my computer. I don't want to do that. So if you look down at the very left, corner, you'll see that I'm hovering over call now and our phone number comes up 757-234-2169. That's always something you can do. If you hover over a link, it'll tell you about it in the bottom 
left corner of your screen. Here it is again in bigger, bigger print. All right, so you can find out if they have anything going on as far as needing extra drivers. This is a one page website, so clicking the menu is just going to jump you down on the screen. Okay, Amazon Business Courier Services. It says it's a trucking company. Come on, doesn't really have much. Here's a phone number. And it could be, since it says it's a trucking company, we don't really have a lot of information. It could be just large trucks, but it could also be box trucks or smaller ones. So you could call and find out more information, but it says trucking company. So let's just say, I don't know. You know, the reason I'm thinking about this is because it has courier in the name of the company. So you may want to give them a call and see if they have anything that might interest you. Okay, UPS, Nippon Express is freight forwarding, sending deliveries in and out of country. CNU Mailroom is a mailing service. David's Student Union, so it's probably at a college. FedEx, USPS, All My Sons Moving and Storage is a moving company. Another FedEx. Another FedEx, lots of FedEx. Brit Transportation says it's a courier service. So here's a phone number. <clears throat> it, there's a picture of a truck, but that doesn't mean they only do trucks. One of the leading contracting companies in the industry. So it doesn't really say that much about them. Active member is like a website that would give you more information on them. They're on LinkedIn. So if you're on LinkedIn, you could figure them out. Here's their better business. Um, listing. It says I got lost reading this. It says it's a subcontracting courier service. So that means to me that they have contracts with larger courier companies, regional and national, and they're doing their work as a subcontractor. Nothing wrong with that. Um, a lot of companies do that. So give them a call and see what they have going on. Let's see. Newport News Marine Terminals is a shipping service. Probably not what we want. Oh, I'm sorry. It's early in the morning and I'm still yawning, even though I feel awake. Um, FedEx, USPS, Amazon, Hub. Let's go to the next page because we really didn't get a lot yet. Another UPS, FedEx, 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 UPS. Let's see, Amazon. You can see if Amazon Flex is available here and all of the gig things like DoorDash and Uber and all those things as well. Two men in a truck is moving company. UPS access point office max is copy shop. We'll go down one more because we're not really getting a ton of actual courier services. So maybe I was not correct in thinking that they would have a lot on their own. Okay, that's a mover. I'm just kind of scrolling through these. Freight forwarding, trucking company, mailing service, trucking company. Okay, let's um, forget about the map. We did find a couple, just not a ton. Okay, 10 best couriers. You could look on Yelp. Same day courier, mobile courier. We already, didn't we already look at them? Maybe when we were doing, hang on, let's look at them. Maybe when we were doing some of the surrounding cities. No, I don't remember seeing this. Okay, so locations. 
Richmond, Roanoke, Campton Roads. Yeah, we saw this when we were doing Virginia Beach, but that's okay. We can do it again. Here's their phone number. Here is, let's see, Courier Solutions, Courier Service Benefits. Read all of this stuff so that you understand the company before you call them. They have an address in Newport News. Which is different than, I guess these are their hubs. So you might have to start with their Virginia Beach one in order to hook up with their Newport News location. But here is the local address for them. Just seeing if there's any other Just their 800 number. They can probably get you a local number. Here's local number for their three main locations again. So they could probably get you a Newport News number or the Hamptons Road one, I would think, would be able to help you out. Courier board matches courier companies with drivers. So you could look on there. You could look at all these different directories. Let's see. Data Gemba. It says it's a mailbox store, so it's like um, shipping and mailing. Business courier services. Seeing if there's any, now we're getting into the job stuff. All right, so we have not found yet a lot in Newport News. This could be a short video, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens, but you do have the surrounding areas. I did Norfolk a little couple weeks ago, and I did Virginia Beach not too long after that. So you might have to refer to those two videos because they're in the area and call some of those companies and tell them you're in Newport News and see if they can refer you to offices there. So let's look at the jobs. Join pickup delivery. Truck or van 21 English. That's kind of a thing. I see this more and more. They want people who are fluent in English because a lot of people will come from other countries. This is a courier jobs attract immigrants because all you need is a driver's license. And apparently it's pretty easy to get a driver's license when you come to this country, maybe even easier for immigrants than actual citizens. It seems like at least, um, so they want people that can communicate well with customers. Pickup truck, sprinter van, cargo van, box truck, and or van with trailer. So delivery, and this is on demand. Flexible schedule. Average of $45 a run plus tips. Pickup delivery tr pro. Just reading through this. So, pickup, I believe. Let's look this up. I'm kind of slouching here. Here we go. I bet it's joining local to me.
I bet you it's this one. Let's go back there again and we'll look it up. Go to their website. Pick up. We deliver big. They are delivering probably retail things to people's homes, kind of like a DoorDash, but for retail stores. So you could be picking up furniture and larger items as well as smaller items. That's why they want a truck or van. Eleven times faster, big and heavy delivery. So you could read through their website right here. Big for your business. They are focusing on larger items. Let's do delivery pro FAQ. Signing in, what equipment, how much money can I make? Um, large moving blankets, ratchet straps. So this is going to be bigger appliances, furnitures, all that kind of stuff. And it's an app. So you join, you download the pickup app. Is this is interesting to you? I think this is probably going to be pretty much anywhere in the country. So there you go. Okay. Instacart is kind of kind of like a DoorDash for grocery. Pyramid Healthcare. Transporting patients to and from specific locations. Clients, it says. Supervised clients while transporting. So this is going to be a full-time job, full-time employees. So this is W-2 job. Mobile One, we already looked at them in their advertising, which is good. It means they are hiring. So not only did we find their website in the search, but we see an ad, so we know they're hiring. JB Hunt is a trucking company. DoorDash is an app. McCormick Paints is looking for a delivery driver. So you deliver, but you would also assist customers selling merchandise probably working in the store as well as driving so in our benefit so it's a w-2 job cdl class a automatic leasing company let's see this is going to be a w-2 job and domestic leasing of laundry equipment So yeah, it's a W-2 job. CDLA, delivery driver, automatic leasing service. I believe that this is the same thing as we just saw here. So drive a vehicle, delivering machines to your community. <laughs> Coin laundry, maybe? That's what I'm kind of thinking. Um, CDL, delivery driver for Nike. Let's see, physical and financial health, competitive pay, benefits, and robust retirement programs. So you would deliver merchandise to local Nike, Nike stores. So like from a warehouse to stores. And I think this is... A W-2 job. You could you could like contact them and find out, but I'm pretty sure it's W-2 job. DoorDash. Integrity Staffing is looking for a CDL driver. Staffing services are like temporary services, or you know they connect job hunters with jobs. Domino's Pizza Delivery. Sherwin Williams is a paint store. They're looking for. Um, yeah, this is like work in a store and do deliveries as needed. So it's going to be a W-2 job. Hertz is a rental company 
and you would take vehicles to different areas, like if they need them at different locations. Um, oh, they even have pet insurance. Career growth, hands-on. I think this is a W-2 job. Vantage Solutions is a truck trucking job. CDL Class A, delivery driver for American Freight, probably a W-2 job or a truck job. reading this it does not say however I am almost positive it says maintain a delivery vehicle probably a w2 job advanced auto parts they're looking for a delivery driver I do know that advanced auto sometimes uses local courier companies if they don't have enough of their own employees so you could also ask about that who are they using when they have overflow work but this would also be working in the store, so it would be a W-2 job. Hut American, H-U-T. Your gig, your schedule. Oh, it's Pizza Hut. Great benefits. Just... Same day flexible schedules, lots of other benefits. Um, our best drivers earn 15 to 20 dollars an hour, so that means that a lot of not so good drivers probably earn a lot less. You can go to, I believe it's Hut America, or you can text Pizza to that number right there if you want to do Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut used to be so good when I was in high school and I haven't really liked their food in years. So many restaurants have just changed. They're just not the same as they used to be. CDL Class A, CDL Class A. It's probably because I think still thinking about the restaurants. A lot of them are buying food that's mostly pre-made and kind of heating it up rather than actually cooking it and doing recipes in-house. Some still do, but it's, I don't know. To me, it's just not the same. World Pack warehouse worker delivery driver is going to definitely be a W-2 job. Lyft is kind of like Uber. Um, CDL Class A. Hindenwood Independent Assistant Living. This would be driving people around in probably a van, taking them to the store, to outings, to church, to different things like that. Assistant living people often aren't driving anymore. Some do, but not all of them. And this would be a W-2 position. Um, CDL Class A, Outback is looking for a delivery driver. Probably a W-2 position, although they probably do like door dashes and other things if they can't, if they don't have enough of their own drivers. And see, they, they list benefits. So Bike Courier, Grubhub is looking for a bike courier for the downtown, you know, or most densely populated area. Grubhub is an app like um, DoorDash. Delivery driver, Need It Now delivers, is looking for automotive. Need It Now is one of those that we found in the, um, I believe we found it in Courier Businesses, did we? You know what? We didn't, and the reason we didn't is because we found it in either the Norfolk or Virginia Beach. Let's find them. Yep, we did. We found them. when we were doing Norfolk. So they're also doing Newport News, and if I remember correctly, they did not list a phone number, which I thought was weird. Just looking through this again. 
you can fill out their form. Yeah, there is no phone number under contact us today. Let's do phone number. Here's the phone number, 212-989-1919. But I'm not sure if that's going to be local. Let's look at their Facebook page. Cargo and Freight Company. So you can look them up on Facebook too. I'm not, here, sir, here's an 800 number. I am not big on doing first contacts about jobs on social media. I would rather actually talk to people, but that's me. Some people do that and it works out okay. 1099 position, weekend routes, pay 535 a week. That would be for this specific job. Different jobs would pay different amounts, different routes, and you would have to find out more information about that route. If that was like a 10 hour route or an eight hour route, that wouldn't be enough pay. But if it was, you know, a four hour route or five hour route, depending on the amount of work, it might be okay. And also the mileage and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Let's see. Bus driver. They need a school bus driver, which a lot of people like driving school buses. It's, you know, it's early in the morning and then you get a break and then it's later in the afternoon. So Sometimes that works in with people's schedules and schools usually have decent benefits. Uber is an app. Um, another Pizza Hut one. Let's see jobs and logistics. They are a company that matches job hunters with jobs. This is a um, CDL job. Domino's Pizza Driver. Uber Eats. Caraba is like a delivery driver also. And any of these restaurants, you can check them out. Some of them are um, going to be W-2. Some of them are going to be 1099s. It just depends. Let's see. They have Carabas, Outback, Bonefish Grill, and Fleming's. So, Shuttle Driver, U.S. Foods. This is tractor trailer to move loaded trailers around um, the facility and into, I guess, to their, looks like mostly around the facility, but it's a CDL job, so we don't, we're not interested in that right now. Let's see, driver partner. Set your own schedule in designated blocks, um, paid weekly. Your own vehicle. So this is probably going to be a 10.99 one. Driver partner, Newport News. I wonder, submit job application, drive when you want. So I wonder if this is an app. I bet you it is. So driver partner. I wonder if they're just hiring for like an Uber or something like that. I mean, you could contact them and try to figure it out, but it could just be that they're sub sub recruiting for a DoorDash or an Uber or something like that. CDL class A, Zoe's Kitchen is looking for a delivery driver, um, fleet driver full time. Let's see, it's probably a CDL.
eleven fifty an hour. Yeah, fleet vehicles around our lots to various places. So this would be a W two job, and it doesn't pay very well. So forget that. It's oh, it's Avis, so it's a it's a car rental place. Gotcha. Class B is a type of a CDL. Courier driver, Riverside Health System. You know, I pass up these 11 and $12 jobs because even fast food in most places is paying more than that because there's a, you know, a shortage of workers right now. So why would you take a job like that when you can make $15 plus at McDonald's some, in some places? I don't know. You have to weigh your love of driving against what jobs you're paying and be a little bit selective. Okay. So you would be taking met residents to medical appointments, um, outings, things like that. So you would probably be driving their vehicle and you'd probably be a W2. Another pizza delivery. Pizza delivery is always around. Class A, errands, rents. Errands is a rental place, like furniture rental. And yeah, so you'd be driving, installing, showing customers how to use merchandise and much more. And some of that's pretty heavy furniture. So it's kind of like a moving company, but for rental. And you would be driving their truck. So it would probably be a W-2 position. Yep, definitely W-2. Another pizza driver, jobs and logistics, is looking for a class A. That's kind of a job search site. Hunt Transportation is a trucking company. OTR drive-in driving job. Martin Transport. I'm pretty sure we, yeah, CDLA. We looked at that when we were doing Norfolk. Jason's Deli. So there's a lot of different restaurant delivery driver gigs, and you could sign up with several of them if one of them isn't enough to keep you busy, if you like that type of things, or just do a DoorDash or a Grubhub or Uber Eats or one of those, if you want to try the gig economy. Just kind of looking grand rental station, delivery driver warehouse. It's going to be W-2 because they're going to have you working in the warehouse also. And it says employee right here. Dealer trade driver. I always thought this was interesting. Um, if a dealer, a car dealer needs to have a car at a different dealership, you would drive that car there and maybe pick up another car and bring it back. That always thought that was a lot of fun. I don't know if it's W2 or if it's 1099, but even if it was W2, I think the autonomy and the just driving back and forth sometimes between different cities and states even would be something that might be fun. I've thought about doing something like this myself. So, um, milk producers, Maryland and Virginia. So you'd be driving a commercial motor vehicle. That's going to be a W-2. Usually, not always, but usually if you're driving their vehicle, it's going to be a W-2 job because of the liability and all that kind of stuff. And it's deliveries and all that as well. Um, it doesn't mean 100%. I know courier companies who have their own like box trucks and are using contractors to drive them. So you'd have to call and make sure. But I have a feeling that this one is... Let's look. W2. I think it is. Maybe not, but I think it is. All right, so there's more Ubers and 
things like this. This is labor or route driver. It's going to be W2. So I'm just going to stop here. We didn't find a ton in Newport News, but do that Norfolk and Virginia Beach search also because there's going to be some overlap and some of those may also go into Newport News as well. We did find some though. So there's going to be something for you people in that area to get started with. And hopefully you'll find some good courier gigs and don't overlook the gig economy as well. And if you like restaurant delivery, there's tons of restaurant and pizza delivery jobs. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up right here. So that was Newport News, Virginia, and I will see you on the road.